double big gulp. I've got Diet Dr. Pepper in here. I've got flip flops on and I just ate crap. I ate a 7-Eleven slice of pizza and one of their brownie things. Man, so I'm just making this video because do you ever feel unmotivated? Well, that's where I'm at right now. And I guess I'm gonna make a video right now about why or how that happens. You know, one of my life verses is Proverbs 29, 18. It says, when there's lack of vision, people cast off restraint. Some versions say that the people perish. You may have heard me talk about this before. Also a life verse for me is Habakkuk uh, 2. Oh gosh, write down the vision and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the vision awaits an appointed time, though it may linger, wait for it, it will surely come, it will not delay. So it's Habakkuk chapter two, I know it's at the very beginning. I'm telling you my own things that I need to remind myself of, because one of the reasons you might lose motivation is because you might have, like, like for me, I have this tendency where I can have a big vision and a big goals but then, so I'm wired to be like a director. It's one reason why filmmaking is one of my loves and film directing I love. It's because I, I'm so wired for the big picture. I get the big picture and I can delegate and direct. And, but for me, it's like whenever I, like there's 10 wheels, right? Or 10 gears that make up the machine. I might know everything about the gears, but if you want me to go into one gear by itself, if I need to stay there too long, I get real demotivated because I can't see the big picture anymore. And so I'm not operating in my gift and how my brain is wired. And so it kind of shuts, starts shutting me down. And so, but what can happen is if the entire vision is not clear, the big picture macro vision isn't clear and you haven't taken the time to define and make clear all the gears that are in that big vision. So whenever I get inside one of those gears, I suppose, and I start working on that, then I can't see the big picture anymore and everything's foggy and all of a sudden it all starts kind of crumbling. It's sort of like running into the battle without really having a complete understanding of the battle plan. And once you get out there and another wave of an army starts coming, you're like, oh gosh. And so it's really demotivating and it gets kind of scary. And so, uh, or you start getting lost on the path, on, you're on the mountain, and you got the idea and the vision for the top, and then you start going at it, and then you don't really, you get caught in the middle of executing a plan that's not clear. And so you start getting demotivated. So that's really what happens. And so that's what I am dealing with currently, right now. So why am I here? Because sometimes you do have to act your way into a feeling not feel your way into an action. If you wait to feel it, more than likely you're not gonna end up doing it. Sometimes you just gotta make yourself do it. So I know that videos are an integral part that I'm procrastinating about getting done with this 30 day body sculpting program that I'm trying to shoot. So I am here right now because I know the gym is gonna be empty and I know I can film in some peace and quiet. So I'm gonna get a little bit of videos done. I'm gonna take a little bit of time to figure out what exactly I'm gonna shoot. Okay, so I have an idea before I just start going at it, because I have done that before, um, even with just starting trying to shoot videos with no script at all. So I'm gonna um, take some time to come up with a little bit of knowing what I'm gonna do here, and then I'm gonna shoot these videos, and I'm gonna keep going. And I know I gotta continue. There's, I've got steps in place to put all these things together, but I have such big, crazy visions, and I can see that if I had $100 million, or even if I had a million dollars, um, right now that I could use to delegate all these things to um, and get, have, hire people and do this. I know that we can move this machine forward, but the problem is, and really it's an area of growth for me, is I have to get creative and do lots of things in order to push this machine forward. And sometimes that means I can't operate in my gift, so I have to get inside one of the gears that makes up the machine, okay? So I have to understand it, I need to grow. I mean, and the only way that you can breakthrough procrastination is you have to realize, okay, the only answer here is I have to grow. I see something in the future and there's a current, my current capability does not allow me to do that. So I need to grow, I need to learn more. So 
<clears throat> this is how you can, one, break through procrastination is realizing, okay, I'm procrastinating on this, so this is now a priority. I've talked about that before, procrastination, priority. I hope this wasn't out of focus the whole time. Breaking procrastination and flipping it to your advantage so you know what's a priority. Whenever, whatever you're procrastinating about, it's like pains indicating, hey, you need to work on this. And the way to grow and to actually do it is to set the goal, set the deadline, a measurable goal by a certain time and breaking that down. And then you move forward because you're committed to something. And so that's where courage comes in because you're being courageous Courage has to replace confidence. You're confident about something with your current capabilities. And so when you're procrastinating about something, you're avoiding something because you currently don't possess the capability to do that greater ambitious goal or that whatever that is that you're seeing. So how do you advance forward? Sometimes you gotta act your way into a feeling, do what's right in front of you, work with the tools that you have, and write down the vision and make it clear, make it plain. Take time to map out the macro vision, look at all the 10 gears that make up the big vision next 10 years, five years, or one year, and then really dive into the other gears and make those really clear. So that once you're inside one of the smaller gears of the big machine or big vision that you see, you're not so demotivated because you can zap in and out of the big picture and small picture, big picture, small picture. So you know, okay, if I get this one little tool done, this one little task done of this small gear, uh, whether it's personal training or whatever, it is contributing to me getting further into working on to the big picture. Hope that all makes sense. What am I gonna call this video? The key to getting motivated again. Boom, bodymind.com. My name's Reed Tucker.